What can't the unit do? As mentioned, the DET clamp-on earth testers cannot do everything. You would still need a follow potential tester to measure a single ground rod or system not energized, or attached to the system. You would also still need a follow potential tester if that were the requirement. The DET 14 and 24C will not measure earth resistivity. There is a difference between resistance and resistivity. To make resistivity measurements, you need a four-terminal earth tester, like the Megger DET-4 series. The four terminal units allow you to perform a test, which is referred to as the Wenner test. This test was developed in 1915 by Dr. Frank Wenner and is still the standard for earth resistivity today. Earth resistivity is typically done before construction. The results from this test will allow you to determine the best place to put a ground system as you are looking for low earth resistivity, meaning it will take less material to get to an acceptable ground. High resistivity impedes corrosion. This is important information to cathodic protection people. In summary, the DET 14 and 24C were developed with a goal in mind. That goal was to be the best clamp on ground resistance tester available. In closing, we would like to suggest if you're going to use a DET 14 or 24C to measure ground resistance and you're unsure or unclear of the results, we would suggest you validate your readings with the follow potential method.